Welcome, I'm Megan Walker and this is the letter E in the A to Z of real-time marketing and we are going to look at how you edit sample data. So what does that even mean? So sample data is basically when you are doing uh, or creating an email and you want to see and preview what it will look like based on having certain information on there. So kind of like when you are doing a test send of an email, you want it to be populated. If you're using personalized data, you want it to be populated so it actually shows something in there so you get a, a general feel or general idea of what it will look like. So we'll go ahead and we'll take a look and see how we do this. So if we go and look at one of our emails in the real-time marketing area and we go to this one, we'll look at the case created email. So we can see our design area and we can see that we've got anywhere that's kind of got this yellow um, sort of in uh, curly brackets, this yellow area, this is showing us a variable or a value or something where we're going to be populating from the database, populating with personalized information. So in this, we've got hi, first name, so that's personalized. We've got uh, information about a case that's been opened. We've got the case number, case title, case description, and the case subject. So what we can go ahead and do is we can go and preview it. So if we preview it, what we're going to see is anything that's been added into that personalized variable that will show instead. So here we can see unknown default. So if I go back to the design here um, and we go ahead and we look at this case description, we can see that there's a default value. Now in this one, we don't have anything, which is why it was blank. But if we look at this one, for example, we can see the default value is unknown, which is why that is what displays in the preview. But if we go back to preview and test, we can see that there's this edit sample data. So if I click on that, what this is giving me is a list of all of the different variables or sort of personalizations that are included in this email. Now, we've got the address and we've got subscriptions. Those ones are um, pieces of information that need to be included in the email when we're sending out a commercial email. So essentially the same as the outbound marketing or what you might have been doing previously where you've got to have the address at the bottom and you've got to have that unsubscribe or, or update preferences, basically the link to the subscription center. So those two we're going to ignore for now because those will be covered in another video. So what we've got here is case description, case number, case title, first name and subject. So if there was a default like we have for case number, and case title, we can see there that it's got what the default is. So this one, case description, lots of issues with my product. Can you help? So then we've got the um, case number, so you could copy and paste something. I'm just going to make something up, which I know is not real, but we're just putting it in for now. So as I'm doing that, you can see that the email is then updating, the preview is updating, sorry, not the email. The email is still going to pull the data as and when the email runs, it's going to pull from the correct contact, the case it's linked to it and so on. So this is literally just for the preview. So then my case title, um, challenges with product. And then first name, we'll go ahead and we'll put Megan, subject is product issue. So we've now got our preview and we've got this sample data. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to save this and I'm going to go back out into my list of emails. We'll open up this one again. So now let's say that I want to do a test send and if I click on test send, so it's validating, making sure there's no errors with the email. So we'll wait and be patient while that validates. So by putting in that information and editing the sample data, now when I come back and I want to do a test send, all of that information is now populated in there. So I don't have to do it every single time. So if I had just come straight to test send and I'd filled this information, I, I would have had to fill this information out. But by editing the sample data, then that means that every time I go ahead and I send out a test, um, it's going to say, right, this is everything that I'm going to be using. 
so I can then just go ahead and do my test send. So editing the sample data is going to be really useful if you are doing a lot of tests, you want to keep making changes and keep going back and, and adjusting and tweaking things. So keep in mind that sample data, if you edit the sample data, then every time you do a test send, you will already have that pre-populated. And again, this is only from a preview perspective. It is not adjusting the email itself. So if we go back to the design, that's still all the same. And that will pull the real data when we actually send an email out. So let me know what you think in the comments below. To me, I think this is a really cool um, new feature, the fact that I can pull in all these personalizations that I could before, but now I can actually go ahead and put in and pre-populate some um, sample data so that my testing then actually has something that looks like it makes sense. So let me know, what do you think? Hi, I'm Megan Walker, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned something from it. If you don't want to miss out on any other content, you can go ahead and click on my face below to subscribe. And if you want to watch the next video, you can do that by clicking over here and go ahead and get started. Thanks again.